Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I don't know quite what happened, but I had an accidental break, a little vacation, because November was here and then it was gone. Quite literally, I put out my Halloween costume video, which if you have not seen them, please go check them out. I did a witch costume and it was really, really cute, so you should go see those. Go now. Um, but yeah, I put out my videos right at Halloween and then it was like, normally I get my hair done the second week of every other every month every five weeks well it's supposed to be the second week of every month is what it normally is and now she's moved us up to five weeks so it was the weekend after that I got my hair done and I was like it kind of threw me off because normally I get my hair done like on the 16th or the 13th of every month and this time it was like the 6th and then I was like oh I'm supposed to put a video out but yet this appointment's early so not gonna do it and then I took a semi break because I was exhausted turned around and it was all of a sudden Thanksgiving and I was like well no one's gonna see my video or pay attention to it if it's during the weekend of, of Thanksgiving because you know Black Friday so long story short which actually this is a long story I could not make up my mind what weekend I wanted to put stuff out on so it's the first weekend of December and you're getting this video now this video is actually a request somebody requested that I make a different view for the simplicity pattern 8560 which you can see here um, they asked me to make view a which is fine by me because I feel like when I was making it I didn't know enough about bra making to make it right or the way that I want to make it now that I've done stuff in bra making now it kind of makes a little more sense so I'm like this is a great challenge. This is a great way for me to, how do, how do I put this? This is a great way for me to see how far my skills have come from when I made the first bra. I did do a few modifications such as the cup size. I needed it to be just a little bit bigger because I am in a G, not G, but like an HI cup normally. And it only goes up to a G, which technically it could fit because it is like stretch performance material and it is compressive. But I just, I wanted something I could wear around the house because it doesn't matter what type of bra it is, it's not supportive enough for me to work out in. Unless I'm doing yoga, that is a whole different story. But I did adjust the cup just a little bit, which you will see. I started by altering the cup of the bra. Given with the amount of stretch, it would have technically fit my chest, but at the same time, I wanted to experiment. Taking the cup, I took a ruler and drew a line through the curviest part of the cup, but not all the way through the side edge to create a hinge. If I spread the cup like this, I should create more space in the cup for volume. I took a spare piece of paper and taped it underneath at the amount I wanted to add. I also went back to the hinge and cut a little bit on the back side of the cut but not all the way through, and it fixed that weird bubble it was creating. I also added a piece of tape to support my hinge. Then I clipped off any extra paper. The fabric I use is a soft green sports fabric from Joanne's Fabrics with this black ombre on the bottom. I wanted to create a cool effect by putting the front four pieces in the middle of the ombre and the bottom band I'm going to make completely black. First step, you'll take both your front pieces, number one, and pin them right sides together. Stitch up the center to the large dot where you will backstitch and press the seam open. Pin the front to the side front, number two, right sides together. Match your notches and it will take a couple of anchor pins to help with distribution. After you pin, go ahead and sew and it will take maybe a little bit of pulling to get it through if you don't use as many pins as I did. Trim and clip your curves and repeat this on the other side. Press both the seams towards the center front. 
Take your strap pieces, number four, and fold them in half lengthwise, right sides together. Pin and stitch at 3 fourths of an inch into the seam, leaving both your ends open. I already did one here to show you. You will need to turn the strap inside out, which I tried to do with that little stick thingy you find at sewing stores, but it was so much of a hassle that I just went back to a safety pin, which I still 100% recommend. Once you flip them, you will see this little piece of seam allowance sticking out of the end. You will want to clip that, but don't clip the band. Just a little bit of seam allowance sticking out. They want you to base your edges, but I didn't. But I would absolutely recommend pressing. Don't skip that. Back to the front pieces, you will pin your straps to the big dots, matching the dots on your straps. You will pin your straps so the seam is upwards, but for some reason the one that I had was, they were both the same, so it didn't want to work correctly, so I just pinned it the best way that I could. Once you have pinned them both, you will base stitch them having the raw edges even. Take your two back pieces, number three, and match them right sides together. Pin and stitch the seam to the small dot, back stitching at that dot. Match the front to the back right sides together and pin the shoulder seams. Then stitch your shoulder seams. Now that you've done the outside, you will sew your entire lining the same exact way, minus the straps. Match your outside to your lining right sides together. Pin your neck edges together, matching shoulder seams and centers. Stitch and leave an opening at the small dots, extending half an inch on both sides of the small dots. Reinforce the seam at the front by sewing over the stitches again. Turn the facing to the inside and press the neck seams. This is where I realized that I have made the whole opening situation wrong. The opening did not need to be at the straps. It needed to be on the other side where the straps were going to go, which I confused. So I had to quickly fix that by going in and sewing the whole clothes at the straps and then opening up that seam on the other side between the two dots, making sure to extend half an inch on the opposite side of both of the small dots. After fixing that, I inserted the straps into the opening, crossing over each other and matching the dots on the straps to the dots on the garment. Pin them and then flip to the inside where you're probably going to have to repin and reposition and make sure that the edges are even and then sew the straps in place. Trim your seams and the ends of the straps and then press. Lay your bra out flat like this with the edges stacked outside, facing, facing, and outside. Pin both your facings together. Take the outside piece at the bottom of the stack and flip it up like this with the right side now facing you. With the outside piece on top, Flip it as well so that its right side matches the other outside's right side. So both the outsides should be turned up like this and you should match them and you should pin them. You will pin those and then you will sew the outsides together and then you're going to sew the facings together. So turning your attention back to the back opening, you will turn your edges in on the seam allowance and pin them with one pin temporarily. This pin is supposed to help you sew together the correct edges and not mangle the bra. Without unpinning your edge, flip to the inside and take a hold of one side that's pinned. Without losing them, unpin and pin the edge even, matching your dot and the notches. There should be a set of three and there should be a set of one and then one bottom dot at the bottom. At the very top, you'll also see a large dot that you'll need to match as well. 
after your pen, then stitch and reinforce if you, if you want. It does suggest. Do the same for the other side. Turn the bra right side out and press. Pin the armholes and edges of the outside and facings together with edges even. Base stitch armhole edges at 1 4 of an inch, not whatever I did. You'll see later. Base stitch the lower edge as well. Top stitch the back opening and the neck edges at 1 4 of an inch from the finished edge. Take the armhole binding and pin the ends together, matching your notches and stitch. Press under the unmarked edge by 1 4 of an inch. Pin the binding to the armhole right sides together, matching the seam to the armhole seam and the tiny dot to the shoulder seam. Pin in a couple anchor points and then stitch the binding at 1 4 of an inch, stretching as you need it to fit. Press the binding away and seam allowance from the bra, turning the pressed edge of the binding to the inside. Pin the binding from the outside so that the binding edge covers the previous stitching on the inside. Stitch your binding from the outside in the ditch, catching the folded edge in the stitching on the inside. Don't worry if yours looks terrible, I actually ended up sewing over the seam instead of in the ditch because I wanted to make sure that I had enough stretch so I did a zigzag stitch instead of a straight stitch and it looked terrible at this one place here as you can see the inside is a mess but practice makes perfect and in the other side it looks a whole lot better it may not be a hundred percent but it looks a whole lot better onto the casing you will press under the unmarked edge at one half of an inch pin the casing to the lower edge of the bra right sides together matching the large dots which there should be one here at the edge but you'll match the large dot where the stitching meets and then the small dot will go to the side seam match the notches at the front as well and stitch the casing into place trim the seam as well like so to about one fourth of an inch then press the seam allowance and the casing away from the bra. Looking at the extension, fold the casings right sides together just at the end, folding out the one half of an inch. Pin and stitch to the edge of the bra, careful not to stitch into the bra. Back stitch at the large dot. Trim the extension, which I did not do for some dumb reason, but you should. Turn the casing and the extension right side out. Then pin your casing on the inside 1 8 of an inch over the stitching so it covers them. Make sure you pin from the outside just like the armhole binding. Stitch the casing from the outside in the ditch making sure to catch the casing on the inside with the stitching. Take your elastic guide pattern piece and measure and cut your elastic for the size according to the guide. Feed the elastic into the casing, and I would still 100% recommend doing this with a safety pin. Looking at your hook and eye pieces, you'll want to shorten the eye in to just one row, which I did by cutting off the rest as close to the other eyes as possible. I also had to cut mine to be less wide because I could only find this size in my stash. I clipped off the excess and just finished the edges with a zigzag stitch. Take the eye side of the closure and match it to the left end of the elastic. Overlap it by 3 eighths of an inch and pin. Stitch once close to the lower edge of the eye closure, then inward at 3 eighths of an inch from the edge of the eye closure. Flip the elastic up like this and pin the hook to the bottom side of the elastic. Push the elastic underneath the hooks and pin. 
sew it twice in the same way in measurement as the eye closure on the back side. Trim both sides by pulling up the excess elastic and trimming close to the stitching. You'll have to pull the elastic from underneath the hooks on the hook side and clip that too. Ooh, very nice and springy. Fold under the casing on the eye closure side into the casing by 5 eighths of an inch. Pull the fold over the ends of the elastic until it hits right under the eyes and pin. Then stitch the folded edge through all the thicknesses, making sure to catch the casing on the back side. Fold the casing into itself at 5 eighths of an inch on the hook end and pull the casing up until it meets the hooks. Tuck the casing under the hooks. Slip stitch the hole closed using a needle and thread, making sure the hooks stay on the outside. And ta-da, we are done. Um, I am not going to be modeling this because I do not want to get flagged by YouTube for indecent exposure. But I will still have it on my mannequin and we're going to talk about the project. Cool? Alright. The fabric is very soft and comfortable in itself. And the layers are thick so it kind of did help support my chest. So if you have a heavier chest and you're up to like a G cup, having a performance fabric that's a little bit thicker does help with compressing compressing good lord compression and holding you in it does cover your chest well so it's i would almost say it's almost like a full covered situation so i have to say it's pretty well designed i really do i like it a lot i have to say the ombre effect really did work very well it blended from the band all the way up to the cup and it's almost seamless to the eye like you can back up and not like really see or pay attention to the band i think i did really good having done this for the first time and yeah you, as you can see it doesn't really fit the mannequin that's the reason why the straps are bulging out as they do but that's only because i'm wider and it's meant to fit me and not the mannequin i wrote down some of the issues that i did have with it um the only issue that i could really say that bothered me was that even though i increased the bust size in general the arm seat like it landed really low on like my breast tissue so like i'm getting like major side boob action which and i'll honestly see if i'm just wearing it around the house and just chilling it's not that big a deal to me i also had problems with the band because technically my underbust is a 42 44 and even though like it's at a 44 i it still was big like i could have taken off a good four or five inches with that elastic it made it even stretchier so i'm like four or five inches off probably would have helped hold in and probably would have helped keep my breast in place update i found out that when your band doesn't fit right your cup's not gonna fit right so when i pulled the band close to me like as taut as possible that it would fit right and it would hold my breast up it got rid of all that gaping around like my armpit area and like the side boob problem so if you're having that kind of issue you might want to check the band first to make sure that it fits and then it should then after that you could fix and go through all the rest of the issues that you might have but when you're working on any type of bra whether it's sports or not make sure the band fits and it kind of gets rid of most of your problems there really wasn't anything structurally wrong with the bra at all like it was really well made instructions were clear there can be a little bit of confusion with one spot but i hope i can kind of help you figure that out because it confused me and it made me go into like panic mode because i didn't understand what this meant but then i did so hopefully i helped you understand but yeah i will have pictures of this on the mannequin and on myself on my instagram where it's safe and you can go see it there please like and subscribe if you don't mind um it really helps me out and what else i feel like i took that one month break by accident and i don't remember how to do this if you have any questions or any comments please leave them below let them be as nice as possible and say hey like i haven't really talked to my 300 subscribers at all and i kind of want to create a community here so if you feel like it please say hey and i'll say hey back and we can start a conversation but yeah, I think that's everything. I will see you folks 
Christmas time because there is a project coming out right before Christmas. I am super excited about it. Haven't started it at this point, but you know, it'll, it'll get out. It'll be there. It'll be there before Christmas. Famous last words. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you folks had a good day. Uh, yeah, had a good day. Have a good day. You know what I mean. I will see you folks next time. Bye.